California ground squirrels in the wild only live two to three years. She's at least 11 years old. And you're still mad? I'm Luann, and this is Miss Bonita's story for GeoBeats. We moved into our house in 2012, and there was a squirrel in the backyard. She would sit on top of the fence and stare at us, and I felt slightly judged by her. She was always there. I had a busy corporate job, and then one day, I didn't have that job anymore. I started working from home, and that's when my eyes opened up to the world outside. I started watching Miss Bonita more. I began to understand how to provide resources for nature, water for drinking, or native plants. I started to research what squirrels eat, and this is when I discovered there are different types of squirrels. Hi, Miss Bonita. Miss Bonita is a California ground squirrel. She lives in underground dens. It's like a whole apartment complex. Miss Bonita. Each den has a kitchen, it has a sleeping quarters, it has somewhere where they use the restroom, where they store their food. So it's literally like our places where we live, but theirs is in the ground, and that's what protects them. I learned that California ground squirrels eat vegetables, whereas tree squirrels would not eat this. And I was talking to a friend, and she suggested maybe get a little closer to Miss Bonita. Hi, Miss Bonita. And I did. Miss Bonita allowed me to approach her and just stand right in front of her. Hi. For years, we had been looking at each other, and suddenly I was just interested from her and it was magical she's very different from the other squirrels she's very gentle when she takes something from my hand I can't feel her teeth on my skin she's been a mom every year since I've known her I don't try to form relationships with the babies I like that they have this great sense of caution Sledge is the baby daddy for Miss Bonita's little ones for the last couple years. Sledge is very muscular. He has tons of scars. He's missing part of his lip. I know he's been in tons of fights, but with her, he's super gentle. I've never seen any other male squirrels have the same relationship with her. So I think she likes him. Once the females have had the babies, they will chase the males off but she's allowed Sledge to stay in the general vicinity for the last two years, and I find that remarkable. Like, what kind of agreement do they have? Why is he different? You would think with all the babies that they have, we'd have a thousand squirrels in the yard, but somehow nature keeps its balance. And Miss Bonita fortunately has stayed with us and we can learn through her what these life cycles are. She's just always watching. If there is a hawk, she will emit a bark to let everyone else know that there's a predator. But the vulture, Scout, who also hangs out in our backyard, she is not worried about. That tells me she knows a vulture is not going to go after her. Hi, beautiful. She's seeing these birds up in the air. She can identify. Sometimes I have to really look. Is that a hawk or a vulture circling above me? But she'll know. And she also has specific calls. Like if the coyote's in the backyard, I know by the way she barks that the coyote's here. I'll look out the window and sure enough, the coyote's walking through the backyard. And then I wonder how much am I not picking up on? How much are we missing because we don't have their senses? She allows me to check her for ticks, which I've pulled off of her before, put a little disinfectant on it. She's really good about letting me do that. Good morning. When I first go and see her in the morning and I say, Miss Bonita, she rubs her face. To me, that's showing like, oh, I'm happy to see you. I'm going to fix my fur. Like we might brush our hair when a friend's coming over and then she'll run down the hillside to see me. Sometimes she'll just sit there on her favorite spots and we sit together. Hi, Miss Bonita. Hi. If she wants something, she uses my hand as sort of her reclining chair. I don't advocate feeding wildlife from your hand. I only started feeding Miss Bonita because I read that ground squirrels will live within a hundred yards of their den for their whole life. So I didn't have to worry if I fed her from my hand that she would go to my neighbor's house and approach them and possibly get hurt. Right now she's putting on weight because I believe she's going to go into estivation. Estivation is the same thing as hibernation, but it happens in hot weather. So she'll go underground in extreme weather. 
She's gone underground for up to six months at a time. Then she'll emerge when the weather is more favorable. She's super skinny when she comes out. And now I've learned when she comes out, she wants romaine lettuce. She doesn't want nuts. Miss Bonita, what are you going to... Okay, you want, you want your lettuce. And I think it's because romaine lettuce, it's full of water and fiber and vitamins. And she'll just eat that for a couple days. She can absolutely survive on her own, but I always offer her a variety of things. Sometimes I'll give her something and she doesn't want it. She just puts it down and she'll look at me. So I bring a variety of things if she doesn't want what I'm offering to her. Want a strawberry? No, not so much. What about a blueberry? A blueberry? Oh. I know how old she is. I worry about her, but I try not to focus on that too much. I'm so thankful every time I see her. I find that the more you sit still and watch, the deeper you go into this alternate universe. It's right there. When I do that, I feel like you're tapping into some magical river of energy that is always flowing, but we're too busy to pay attention to it. Miss Bonita, thank you for accepting me as her friend. It's a gift that never gets old. Yeah.